the Springfield Museums talking to Maggie North about one of their latest exhibits on plaster casts. And we were joking around a few minutes ago and I said, when I think of a plaster cast, I think of maybe a broken arm. <laughs> Not that type of plaster cast. Right, a different type of plaster cast. So we're here at the George Walter Vincent Smith Art Museum, which is a wonderful late 19th century museum building. And in the late 19th century, so the 1890s, it was fashionable for, fashionable for museums to display plaster replicas of famous works of art. Which look almost identical to the real work of art, but they're exactly. made of plaster. Exactly, they're made of plaster, but they're really true to life sculptures. And most of the time, the molds for these sculptures were taken from original pieces. So the Venus to Milo, the Leao Kuan, famous pieces from the Renaissance by Michelangelo and Donatello. You can see true to life replicas of them right here. You don't gallery. have to visit over in Europe to see the masterpieces. You can bring exactly. them home with you, so to speak. Exactly, you can see them right here in Springfield. And that was the original intention for this gallery. And it really lives on today. These are used as teaching tools mm. for artists and scholars. And they've also become works of art in and of themselves. And why is that? Century pieces. So because they're, um, they're plaster, they're quite fragile, and they're quite old at this point. Sure. So we're very lucky to retain as many as we have in this gallery. Most museums around the middle of the 20th century actually got rid of their plaster casts, but we didn't. Ah. So really what you have in this gallery is a very rare look into what 19th century museums looked like, but also treasures of cultural history. And these were actually put away by the museum you said maybe in the 50s they were in cold storage for a couple decades exactly and then when you realized even the plaster casts are works of art in and of themselves you brought them back to their original room here exactly so where they're installed in this very room is where they were first installed in 1899 and so we've been able to bring them back to that glory that original glory and as I said they just continue to inspire us. they are awe inspiring but you have a brand new plaster cast exhibit here which is a little more Whimsical. Tell me about that. Right. So we recently had the opportunity to reorganize, revamp, and refresh our plaster cast gallery. And one of the ways in which we decided to do that was by adding a contemporary art piece by an artist named Mara Safera. She's from Connecticut. She's a Connecticut artist, but she's really um, represented internationally. And she's a multimedia artist. So she works in sculpture and painting, but also in sound and light. And so the piece right behind us it's is, pretty loud. is her own. <laughs> And when you come to the museums, you'll see that there's music that comes along with it. And really, it's a reinterpretation of the gods of Greek mythology. Uh, it's about mythology. There are the various gods. And I heard one of the things she's hoping to inspire is when people look at her piece and see all the moving pieces, they come up with a story that intertwines all the various characters. Exactly, yes. Yeah. She's hoping that people will look at this piece. They'll pick out, oh, I know that character. That's Zeus. And you can see Zeus not only in her piece, but in a plot plaster cast here in this gallery. So there are great connections and you might be able to then tell your own story about what you think is happening in the piece. So it's really intended to inspire creativity and it's truly mesmerizing. It sure is. I'd love to put that in my house. It's <laughs> almost like watching TV in it a is. sense. It is. Because it does tell a story quickly. Is that going to be a permanent exhibit here? So this will be on view for quite a while. We don't have an end date. It's called In the Gardens of Mount Olympus and it's really a wonderful compliment to our gallery. So we look forward to sharing it Maggie, thank you so much. And thank remember, you. you cannot sign these plaster casts. You cannot. At least here at the museum. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs>